I have here several popular hydrogen water generators being sold on Amazon.com. I'm going to be testing the strength of the generators with the H2 Blue Reagent, which measures the concentration of dissolved hydrogen in the water. Today, I'm testing the Zynaflow brand bottle, which I predict will be the best performer of the three. This hydrogen water generator uses the newest technology with a nine layer electrode plate and a special bottle made to withstand high pressure and force large amounts of hydrogen into the water. Let's get started. That was a single five minute cycle. Now let's measure our hydrogen concentration. Each drop represents 0.1 parts per million or 100 parts per billion. You can see there's a lot of nice back pressure of the hydrogen bubbles. We'll measure out exactly six mLs. Looks like right on the dot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30. So it looks like it got about 28, I would say, it cleared. So 2.8 parts per million, which is a really nice number from this generator from just a single five minute cycle. And a, a tip for maximizing your hydrogen concentration, the most basic tip is just to always fill your bottle to the very top. Not so much that it'll overflow, but just to the very neck of the bottle. And that really maximizes the pressure you get and will give you the highest hydrogen concentration. And so in the next couple videos, I'll also be testing the H2 cap and this NP Yuya hydrogen water generator, both of which are available on Amazon and are rather popular generators, but I'm not expecting to get anywhere near the same kind of measurement that I got with the Zynaflow. These will probably get closer to 1.5 at best. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time.